Here is your math lesson for Tuesday. Um, remember, you're gonna be using this chart still. I told you you needed it for the whole entire week. So if you look at this page, it is the exact same as what we were doing before, but you're doing the work on a scrap piece of paper. So it gives you a picture of what you need, and then it tells you how many you need of it. So the first one says um, a fish tank. So a fish tank costs $17.68, and we need three of them. So let me get out my little dry erase board so we can do the math for this. Give me one second. So we need to do 1768 times, sorry, my board's not, not erasing, 1768 times three. So this is what it looks like. Like I said, my board's not erasing very well. So, you're just going to... Sorry. Knocked you over. Hold on. Give me one second. Back this up a bit. Okay, let's try it that way. I can't get this erased for some reason. I'm not sure why. It's probably been on there too long. Let me see if I can erase it. Nope, it doesn't want to. Okay, so let's keep going. So, you're just going to multiply. Remember, bring your decimal down and then multiply. So you're gonna do eight times three, which let's think of what eight times three is. Should be 24. Your four goes down, your two goes up above the six. Now what I teach the kids to do is cross out the eight because your eight's done, you don't, you don't need it anymore. And this is gonna be a plus two. So then you're gonna do three times six. Three times six is 18 plus two would be 20. So your zero comes down, your two goes up, okay? Cross out your six, because you've already used it. Now, you need to do three times seven. Three times seven is 21, plus two, which is 23. Your three comes down, your plus two goes up, Cross out your seven, because it's done. Now you're gonna do three times one, which is three, plus two, which is five, and you bring your five down. So you should have $53.04. So then on your paper, you should write down 50, was it $53. P your um, decimal point and four cents. So that's all you're gonna do going through it. So that's for this page and then your second page is the exact same thing, okay? It's just, it gives you a picture of something and then it gives, you have to multiply. Scrap piece of paper is gonna be your best friend. I mean, you can do the work on the side, but it, you don't have to. I would prefer you do it on a scrap piece of paper. The next page is almost the exact same thing we did yesterday. You're multiplying and it tells you how many of each. So you're gonna have you're just, you're gonna have the amount of what the animal or object is and how many, and then put your answer. So for cats, we know that cats are twelve dollars. We've done this one, so cats are twelve dollars. So you're going to write twelve decimal zero zero. We need four of them. So you're gonna write your four. So they want you to write the work. And then you're going to multiply. Remember, bring your decimal down. So let's do this one, because I already have it ready. Bring your decimal down. Now, three times zero is zero. Cross it out, because we already used it. Three times zero is zero. Cross it out, we already used it. Three times seven is 21. There you go. So that is it for math. Um, a little more multiplying today. Um, they want you to get into the, technically if you would take this away, this would be considered the thousands. So multiplying by a four digit number. So again, you're usually just go, you're going into the ones place, then tens, then hundreds, then thousands, but then bring your decimal down to make your, it into a, um, into a, no, um, an um, uh, amount of money, okay? So let me know if you have any questions with that for Tuesday, and hopefully I'll be up, have Wednesdays up pretty soon. Thanks. Bye.